Yesterday, I told you about Prime Minister Selfie meeting President Selfie and the beginning of their torrid romance. Click here if you didn't see that. It was sort of funny and sad. Obama is a lame duck with no real political power left. Both the Congress and the Senate are in Republican hands, and maybe the White House will be too in a few months. But for now, it's like a summer love affair. All that matters is the moment. And I don't just mean for Trudeau and Obama. I mean for the media, too, especially for the media. A huge Canadian media entourage went down to Washington. I've never seen it so big. Lavish coverage, total love affair. It's like I'm reading People magazine, and I thought the campaign was bad. I could give you 100 examples, really, but there's one photo that I think shows it all, and it's this one. That is Laura Stone, a young liberal-leaning reporter, used to be with Global TV, now she's with Toronto's Globe and Mail newspaper, media party all the way, social justice warrior, natural liberal, natural Obama lover, yeah, yeah, get in line. But this photo is just so far beyond anything. I, I think it's instructive. Just look. She wasn't taking a photo for the newspaper. The Globe, they have professional photographers, they don't just use their iPhones, and of course, as you can see, she wasn't aiming the photo at Michelle Obama and Sophie Trudeau in the background there. She was aiming it at herself with Trudeau and Obama in the background. It was a selfie of her with her celebrity crushes. But look at that look on her face. That is euphoria. That is a depth of happiness that you usually only see on brides on their wedding day. That wasn't just a fan moment. That was a deep emotional exultation. If there wasn't that blue ribbon, you see that, that blue uh, divider there holding her back. I wouldn't doubt that Laura Stone would have tried to touch Trudeau or Obama, maybe even take a strand of their hair. But it's not just that Stone saw them. It's that she was with them in that moment, and she wanted to memorialize that in a photo forever, a photo that she herself took, not for the Globe, but for her own scrapbook, her own hope chest. Do you doubt that she has emailed that photo to everyone she knows, that she will show that photo to everyone she meets for years, anyone she wants to impress for years to come. That photo of her gushing over two politicians' wives. It, it wasn't published by Stone or The Globe. It was a photo taken by someone else. That photo we've been looking at was of her taking a picture. That was a, a photo that appeared in La Press. It was a sign of the mania, the love affair. La Press readers could be forgiven to think that this was just some young fangirl swept up in the modern political version of Beatlemania. No, that wasn't a fangirl. That was the Globe's reporter. She was the fangirl that La Presse thought was remarkable enough to publish. Okay, one more photo. This one from Laura Stone's personal Instagram account. You can't see her eyes here, but look at that smile. That genuine, deep, beatific smile. I wish I were that happy, that contented, that satisfied a perfect moment. I haven't felt that happy since I was a child. That's not a news moment. That is far more than a fan moment. I think that was the best day of her life. Hey, let me read to you the first sentence of Laura Stone's report in the Globe and Mail. You want to hear it? First line. Canada's new glamour couple, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, were welcomed into the White House on Thursday for an elegant state dinner in which, in their honor, with President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Glamour couple, elegant. Is this the Globe and Mail or a celebrity magazine? Well, when it comes to love, the heart will do what it wants to do. Here, let me read some more from her report. Miss Grégoire Trudeau wore a purple gown with coral sequins from Lucien Matisse, the second time she sported the Toronto-based designer on the trip. Miss Obama wore a strapless midnight blue floral gown from Taiwanese-Canadian designer Jason Wu. The men were in dark tuxes. This is the Globe and Mail newspaper. Oh, my God. I guess someone else could cover the real news. How Obama has blocked the Keystone XL pipeline, despite Trudeau's promise that his carbon tax would make the Americans accept the pipeline. Someone else can write about the NAFTA complaint about that. Someone else can write about how Canada has abandoned the Allied Combat Coalition against the Islamic State with withdrawing our CF-18 jets. Someone else can cover that. Someone else can write about the softwood lumber dispute coming back, the homeland security hearings into Canada's unvetted Syrian migration. Someone else can do that because the globe is busy. They are in love. 
a deep, satisfying love. You know, the Globe and most other media, they have rules against their reporters making political donations to parties or being a party member. Good idea. That would be too partisan. But what about when a reporter is truly, madly, deeply in love? And what about when the entire press gallery is too? You just can't trust the media party. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.